What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man, and this is Rich's Kicks. I hope everybody having a good day today. Today, I want to do the on feet of the shooter that was gifted, um, the uh, Air Jordan 7 chambray joints. Shout out to Vincent Art Man for uh, gifting me these again. I was just going, um, I was just going to respond to a couple of comments I had on Instagram and on, um, on on the on the unboxing of these or people saying these were fakes I knew these was real as soon as I pulled them out the box and the reason I knew they was real because I know what to look for in legit sneakers I've been doing this long enough and plus I've seen this pair actually a bunch of times in person in person people get that little that little stitching in the middle of the jump man the so-called butt crack in the jump man and they say the shoe fake but if you think that's the only thing that you need to look for to um to see that a shoe is not legit you got a whole lot more to look for because it can be perfect jump mans and they own sneakers that people are selling you and they can be fakes as well. But the only thing about this is the shoe was made in 2006. It's 10 years old. It had different stitch. They had different. They made these in different uh, warehouses. It had different molding for the shoe. It had different paint on the shoe. Different machines made these sneakers. So if th this little, I'm gonna show y'all what they talking about. The little, the little stitching flaw in the, in the crotch of MJ right there. They um. They say that make a shoe fake, and that ain't true. <laughs> that ain't true. I don't know where y'all get that from. Y'all been watching comparison videos a little bit too much, but you gotta look more. You gotta look for more than that. You gotta look for the production dates on the uh, behind the tongue. You gotta look for the stamp inside the box. You gotta look for it, it's it's certain things that you can do to look at a shoe and tell it's legit. My um Citrus Sevens had the same type of stitch and bottom straight out of uh finish line. You feel me? My um my Cardinals got uh Cardinal Sevens got similar stitching. I got. 13s that got stitching like that on the tongue and three so I don't, if that's the only thing that you judge a shoot by being fake man you need to educate yourself a little bit more I'm not really sending no shots to y'all I'm just letting y'all know before y'all comment about a shoot being legit or not go ahead and do your research for uh more and learn what to look for in a legit shoot so like I said shout out to Vincent Art Man for sending me these man I really wanted this colorway I really dig this colorway I dig this shoe and um I know y'all want to see these on feet so let me let y'all go ahead and check these out. On oh, feats, man. Do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Real quick before I get into the uh, on feet. Kicks Unlimited. K-I-C-X. Unlimited. In Sacramento, man. That's the shop um, that they got up there in Sacramento. Where these, probably, where these came from. And y'all check them out you in that area dope people man they they do legit they do legit uh checks on all these sneakers before they get them in so they always a1 that's why i ain't worried about buying it i mean that's why i ain't work now nah, i didn't buy it. he gave it to me <laughs> but that's why i didn't worry about him when he gave it to me i checked out the site i went through all the proper things i need to do to make sure that that it was a legit site and they and they they, they on point so whatever but like i said as soon as i seen the shoe i already knew it anyway i ain't even need that no more but um it's these on feet man dope shoot 10 years old and still looking clean i can't believe he just gave me these free in this condition very dope sneaker i've been wanting this colorway ever since 2006 why for some reason missed out on them i went collecting this big back then um anyway give y'all some booty action yes oh uh, some ass on them yeah man i ain't gonna wear these as much because i don't even know how durable they're gonna be on feet being this old but I'm, I'm gonna pull them out for a couple of occasions, I guess. Walk away action, man. Yes, oh. Yeah, man. It's a beautiful day out here. It is a pretty day. Do a little walk by. Just cause it's a just cause it's a pretty day. A little walk by action. Yeah, man. Y'all gonna stop talking about the way I walk too, man. God made me like this. I'm slew for it. Get off me. Get up off me, man. I like the way I walk. It's different, make me unique. Anyway, man, I'm gonna put these on with the, uh, let me see, what other kind of pants I can do these? I like doing everything with khaki joggers. I don't know why I really love the way that sneakers look with that. But so let's, let's try that. Uh -huh. Khaki joggers. I went in the, in the room and I saw these and I was like, you know what? Do some fatigue on them. So, uh, yeah, that's nice with them as well. I hate the way the sun hit off the shoe. Let me change that. Just a little bit. That's a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, fatigue jog action. I wish I already got a smaller size in these because they keep falling down like some parachute pants. But uh, <laughs> I like the way the fatigue look against the um, colors of the shoe. Cleansed in my opinion. 
Gonna do a little walk around. I bet y'all be thinking my neighbors think I'm crazy out here. Don't nobody be outside though. I'm literally out here by myself. But <laughs> that's it with these. We want to do it real quick. Quick view on feet of one of my, I ain't even called this one of my grills, but I really like this shoe. So you can consider it that because I've been kind of hunting it down for a while and it just hopped in my lap. Didn't even have to spend no money on them. So I don't know. I really love these. A lot of people say they're bland colorway, but hey, I like what I like, man. So let's do a quick round view on these. Chambray sevens on feet. Yes, sir. Dope sneaker. I'm digging. I don't know when I'm gonna wear these because like I said, they're 10 years old and they're gonna tell them if or when they're gonna retro these again. Usually, <laughs> usually, soon as soon as I get a shoe, they retro them. That's how they did the Bordeaux. I bought the Bordeaux in, um, on eBay in 2014. Um, when I first did my channel, 2014, and they came out in 2015, I was like, really? And they in OG form. Like, everybody know that I like the 2015s better because they came, they more the OG. Um, the materials on 2015 can be argued that they better. I mean, on the 2011, but the 2015 is just, they made it, they made how they was made back in the day. So uh, it is what it is to me. I, I mean, I don't know, that's my preference. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank y'all for 70,000. I keep saying that, but I just really appreciate it. Um, and let's keep growing y'all. Hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm gonna put that right behind this vid. And keep watching my videos because y'all know that's what I'm here for. Gone.